Camera comparison now between the Oppo Find X6 Pro, the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, and the Xiaomi 13 Pro. So front-facing cameras, both the Oppo and the Xiaomi can only shoot 1080p video. They don't have 4K support with their front-facing cameras. The Samsung does, and it does also have auto focus. So I do have it set to 4K. They're all in their top settings, and they're all using all three of them, electronic image stabilization. Audio sources, I'm swapping that over so you can have a listen to which one of these has the best audio quality, the microphones. There is no wind at the moment, so we should not hear any wind noise at all. And I'm just going to jog over here a little, testing out that electronic image stabilization. Main camera is now 4K 30 frames per second. And we've got two, of course, 50 megapixel one inch type sensors with the Oppo and the Xiaomi up against the 200 megapixel of the Samsung. Now, audio, are we hearing wind noise coming through? The Xiaomi tends to be, in my experience, very susceptible to that wind noise. Doesn't seem to apply any kind of wind filtering. It has 320 kilobits per second, it's audio bit rate versus 256 on the Oppo and the Xiaomi. And yes, I'm testing out another e-bike. I'm kind of killing two birds with one stone right now, just putting some Ks on that. It's an absolute monster, this e-bike here, because it's got two 1,000 watt motors. Yes, dual motor. Anyway, stabilization, quick little jog across all three, electronic and optical. And it's to pan around, hopefully no annoying judder coming through. Max zoom cameras now, but optical because it's a very hard for me to actually do the digital across all of them. So 10 times with the 10 megapixel with our Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. And then we've got 3.2 times with the Xiaomi and basically 2.8 or 3 with the Find X6 Pro. And I'm going to do some digital zoom now. So first with the Oppo, zoom into this jet ski here. That is now five times digital zoom. And I go over to five times here with the Xiaomi. These are 50 megapixel cameras. They're zoom cameras, by the way. And then with the Samsung, take this up to now, that is 20 times zoom. Still keeping with 4K, 30 frames per second. Ultra wide cameras this time. And we're probably gonna hear some wind noise. It's getting a little bit windier. It's jogging, jogging down these stairs now. Testing the stabilization. What do you think? Which one do you think is the steadiest? This is 4K, 60 frames per second now. And there's a lot of wind, so we're probably going to hear a lot of wind noise coming through with the Xiaomi. I don't know how the Oppo handles this wind. I'm just walking down here a little bit. Footage should look a lot smoother now at 60 frames per second. And especially when I just pan around this beautiful coast. 8K now, the Samsung does 8K 30 frames per second, the Xiaomi does 8K 24 frames per second, and the Oppo Find X6 Pro does not do 8K, unfortunately. So I've just left it at the maximum resolution, which is 4K that we can record. Now shooting in 8K, because of the electronic image stabilization, with especially the Samsung, it's really actually like more like 6K resolution, just upscaled. But if you turn off the image stabilization, that is the electronic image stabilization, it will look a lot sharper, but it shakes around a lot then. And the 24 frames per second of the Xiaomi, I really wish it was 30 frames per second, which would be, of course, a lot smoother. Over to low light video now. So this is the front facing cameras, obviously. So 32 megapixels with the Xiaomi and the Oppo versus 12 with our Samsung. The Samsung can shoot in 4K, it has autofocus. The other two cannot do 4K. They're only 1080p, as I showed you before, the daylight footage. So it's quite dark, this patch here, but I do have a street light. So stepping into this, uh, which one do you think looks the best? I'll go over to the darker patch now. White dark around here, and all three of them Honestly, they look garbage. I would not be shooting with a front-facing camera with this kind of lighting conditions. You really do need a lot of light uh, to be vlogging. Main cameras, 4K, 30 frames per second. So will these one inch size sensors, 50 megapixels, be able to beat out the 200 megapixel Samsung sensor? It's just gonna pan around really slow. And I think it's uh, going to be very, very close here with the nighttime video performance because looking at the screen, all three seem to be reasonably good. 
Now over here it's a little darker so I can see uh, some of them now struggling while well, the Xiaomi seems to be. Just a light jog ahead testing out the stabilization across all three. More difficult now of course in these lower light nighttime conditions. Now I'm going to look over towards these boats. This is even darker now this area. And which one do you think is best? Let me know in the comments. Finally over to the still. So this shot of my cat Vera, I do like the depth of field, the background blur of the Find X Pro. I think it's the best shot here because when you zoom in, take a look at the 13 Pro, it seems over-processed. The Xiaomi there with the blacks in her fur, a little artificial looking there. The S23 Ultra, well, shutter lag came into play there. Vera moved, but I took these shots all about the same kind of time, but that's just how it came out. Front cams, selfie portraits. Now, I like the S23 Ultra. The color of my skin looks the best. The Xiaomi's just a little too overexposed, a little too bright. And I could say the same about the Find X6 Pro. So those are both 32 megapixel cameras. And it just kind of shows you here that it's more down to the software, not megapixel count, as we kind of know. So the win is the S23 Ultra for your selfie portraits. Full body portrait shot here. So with the Oppo, the colors are the more natural. Now I did use the Xiaomi 13 Pro, the vibrant mode here. So yes, it's a little bit more saturated, similar to the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. Now I do think the S23 Ultra does the stitching the best here and the exposure of my daughter's hair too is the best. So I give the S23 Ultra the win here. Close second, I think the Xiaomi. This is now the portraits again, but their zoom shot. Now I do like the Find X Pro, the background blur, the way the contrast is, the colors not too oversaturated, more natural looking, but the stitching again is the best with the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. A close second, the Xiaomi for me with the skin tones. This shot of the flowers has surprised me across all three because normally direct sunlight, very bright color, they're gonna be clipping those bright colors and you won't see all the different shades, but each one of these phones has done a good job. Now I think the edge goes to the X6 Pro with the better depth of field, slightly better colors, a little bit more true to life colors. Another difficult shot of these white flowers. Now the background blur probably looks the best on the Oppo, but I do like what I'm seeing with the Xiaomi because it's captured more of those shades of the white petals versus the other two. HDR main cameras. Now they all look very good. They've exposed the scene quite well. The HDR is probably the worst when you look at the window with the Galaxy. And when you crop into 200% now, start to pixel peep, you can see that the Galaxy, the Samsung is over sharpening here, a little over processed. I do prefer the Find X6 Pro, but all three of these shots are very good. Ultra wide cameras, another shot where they look at first glance all pretty much exactly the same. It's just down to a slightly different color with the Galaxy. However, if you do crop in, and even without cropping in, you can see that the Xiaomi does capture more details in the shadows of that rock that is just to the right of that lady in the water. Optical zoom now, so there's no contest that the S23 Ultra has the periscopic 10 times optical zoom versus the other two with the three and the 3.2. So you can see clearly it can get in a lot closer, but I don't like the way the Galaxy S23 Ultra here over sharpens the image. Ultra wide camera again. So I do like the approach that Xiaomi has with this shot, with all their ultra wide shots, is they don't tend to over sharpen as much as the Samsung and the Oppo have here. One last flower shot. So this, they all look the same, right? How can you tell the difference between them? Well, the colors are the best on the Oppo, more true to life. I do prefer, again, the depth of field, the background blur that we get from the Find X6 Pro. When you crop in, they're super similar. So to me, it's between the Oppo and the Samsung here. The Xiaomi was just a little bit out of focus there, even though I tapped on the same point, of course, across all three phones. Night shots now, so they have clean lenses. You may think that, oh, hang on, the Xiaomi and the Samsung, they've got smudges on the lenses. No, I wiped them down with microfiber cloths. This is exactly how it came out. So to me, the clear winner is the Find X6 Pro. It also got the yellow tint of those lights correct, where the other two didn't. 
And this shot here of the Harley, the S23 Ultra, made a bit of a mess of the sky and the details on the tire too. Now the focal point, like always, was the same. It was on the exhausts here of this particular bike. And it's between the Xiaomi and the Oppo. Personally, I prefer the Oppo shot because the sky is black, how it was. And it's a little too bright with the Xiaomi, but both of those are excellent shots. Very disappointing, the Galaxy S23 Ultra. This photo here of the candle didn't come out right the colors with the Samsung. It's slightly off. It looks a little bit more artificial, this shot, uh, more processed. I do like the look of the Oppo with the dark sky and the blacks, but it didn't quite get the color right. It's a little too red, this lamp. The Xiaomi is the more correct color here, and overall, I think it's a slightly better shot. It is a little bit more brighter than the Oppo. At first glance with this shot, you would say, oh, they all look exactly the same, but focus in the night sky. Take a look at the S23 Ultra when I zoom in. It's looking over-processed. I don't really like the night shot here that it has taken. To me, it's the Oppo. Look at the details with those LED lights on the roof compared to the Xiaomi, compared to the Samsung. It is the Oppo that takes this Yet again, another close shot. Now, when you look at the Xiaomi, there's a bit of lens flare. There's also lens flare with the Samsung. But the Samsung, when you crop in, it's the sharpest when you look at the Volvo Penta service sign, right? But is it a little over-sharpened, over-processed? Maybe. I think the close second is the Oppo. Not quite as sharp, but I like how they handled the sky here and there is no lens flare. Three times optical zoom cameras. So the Xiaomi is, of course, 50 megapixels. The Oppo is 50, and they're three times optical cameras. And then the Xiaomi's 12 megapixel, three times optical camera. Now, the reason I did this is because they've all got the same optical zoom, more or less. Although you could say that, yes, the Oppo's 2.8 times or whatever it is. Now, zooming in, look at that palm tree with those blue lights. The Oppo has handled that the best. And the sky, very noisy sky. With the Xiaomi, there is a bit of washiness to the Samsung and some noise in there too that I don't particularly like. So clearly here, it is the Oppo that won this shot. With these boats and the night sky here, the Xiaomi just overdid it. All right, it's a bit oversaturated. It got the white balance, the color, all kind of wrong there. And it's between the Samsung and the Oppo. Now when you zoom in, as you can see, now there is a bit of noise coming through and the sky looks a little bit purple with the Samsung. I do prefer the Oppo. Do you think I'm right with this one? Let me know in the comments. Now I love taking photos of this hotel because it has that blue sign and it's the La Posada del Mar sign. It is coming up pretty much correct on all three of them. The Galaxy S23 Ultra is a little off on the color, so more correct is the Oppo and the Xiaomi. Now look at the night sky here. The Samsung didn't really do a good job with this. There's plenty of lens flare, and I know what you're thinking. Oh, you had the smudges on your lenses. Nope, I cleaned the lens, and yes, I am on the new April camera update patch too, by the way. So when you zoom in here, I think it is again just, only just here, the Oppo that captures the sign the best. Also the inside, those details there. A very close second is the Xiaomi. Very quickly to summarize here, I think if you want the best video quality, the best front-facing video, you go for the Samsung. It's got the better audio too, not affected as much by the wind noise. The Xiaomi, it has the highest bit rate of 320 kilobits per second for its audio, for its mics, but they are super susceptible to wind noise. Even if you just move a little, it comes through, and that is quite annoying, and it ruins the footage a little bit there. So with the portrait photos, I think rear camera portraits, the Samsung had the best stitching, slightly better, more attractive skin tones, you could say too, with that. And what about then the ultra-wide cameras? Very close there. I think maybe the Xiaomi was actually the best for the ultra-wide cameras. And then low light, well, I think it's the Oppo. You saw that Quite a few examples I've just shown you. The Oppo pulled through with the least amount of that terrible lens flare, the least amount of noise in the sky. The sky was black instead of being purple, which came through with the Samsung quite often, a little bit more noise. Zoom cameras during the day, that will go to the Samsung. It's got the 10 times optical. You can't really match that, even though it is a bit of a noisy camera, some of those photos. And then low light zoom cameras, well, three times at least when I tested that out. Clearly, again, that was the Oppo. So thank you so much for watching this video. It did take a long time to make this video, the editing going out two or three times, getting all these different camera samples. So please, if you do like this video, 
give it a thumbs up and what about subscribing? If you haven't already, please consider that too for more up and coming camera comparisons.